We have some information about infection coming into Halo Infinite, a PvE mode, as well as the progression system. And of course, we got to talk about cross core customization and answer those questions and a lot more within this video. So if you guys want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. As I do quite often on this channel, I go to my community page and I ask you guys if you have any questions about Halo Infinite and you guys responded a lot on this thread. So thank you so much for your participation within this whole situation. If you guys want to catch the next Q&A chance, make sure you subscribe to the channel because 65% of you guys are not subscribed to this channel. And we're talking a lot about Halo Infinite Season 3, news, info, and a lot more moving forward Season 4, 5, and beyond. Spartane Wrath asks, when do you think Infection Mode will finally come into the game? Well, the best information we have about infection at the moment are all leaks, but the most recent leaks talking about potentially season three as in the second half of the narrative event, as well as Bash, Slayer, Fiesta, BTB heavies, and mini games. There's a custom community game mode kind of thing. So I think it's going to be their version of Action Sack, which we've talked about on the channel, which 343 is looking to do a little bit of a change up when it comes to Action Sack within Halo Infinite, which here is a leaked image that we've seen a lot of when it comes to Halo Infinite's infection mode, where it looks to be more AI infected rather than like the flood. Now this would actually tie in very well with the current narrative event that's happening with season three of how Dan's armor got infected with Eratus and things going a little haywire. Though all previous leaks of infection have been pointing towards season four, but as we've seen 343 has been able to get content out faster than they actually expected themselves, we could actually see it happen with the second half of the narrative event, which will happen in May. But if it doesn't happen then, I would almost guarantee it will happen within season four Four, which would be starting at the end of June. Daytona 500 asks, do you think the Mark IV armor, aka Halo Wars, will be an infinite in season four or five? Which would basically mean bring Jerome's armor into Halo Infinite. And 343 did make a Halo 5 version of that same armor set as well. So it could be very possible we could see this jump into Halo Infinite. The only way I could see it not coming into Halo Infinite is that it's so similar to Mark V B and Mark 7 that it would have to require its own core right since it's a completely different armor set though i do feel like there is a way you could probably tie it into the mark 5b maybe have its own specific kit in a way but even though technically it's mark 4 but having on the mark 5b it's a little confusing i know looking on halo pedia here you do see there are plenty of variants that are already within the lore of halo so this very much could be possibly its own core in some capacity but i think the better move would probably just to probably find a way to modify to make like a new version of mark 4 that looks like mark 4 but it's actually on the Mark V B or something. Or they could just have it be like a kit to where maybe like within the battle pass or some kind of way within the game you can unlock Jerome. I think a lot of these issues that I'm talking about would be alleviated a lot with cross core customization, which we'll talk about later in this video. Fire Goku asks, what's the one thing you'd want to see in Halo multiplayer that you've never seen before? Ooh, that's a good question because there's so many things that we want right now in Halo, especially Halo Infinite that have been in the game series before are just not within Halo Infinite at the moment, say Firefly, for example. Other than the rumored Tatanka Battle Royale mode that we've been talking about for over a year now at this point, I would like to see some kind of all-out warfare kind of mode happening, kind of almost like, say, Battlefield in a way, but with Halo. This would be a casually focused mode because it'd be impossible to balance something that large scale, but like we've been teased with like the global battles mode that was tested with Halo Reach back in the Bungie days. I think that would be amazing if they could find a way to bring it to like a multiplayer scale or if they could find a way to do like a cinematic style PVE mode with BTB. So you have 24 players on your team, all cooperative working together against like this large scale AI enemies that are kind of replayable kind of experiences. Though the leaked mode extraction kind of plays off of this whole thing as well, but it seems to be much more of a 4v4 arena type a thing but if we had like a large scale 24 player cooperative experience against ai i mean that would be pretty amazing i also feel like this really ties into what halo really needs right now and it's something new to do within the franchise yeah, you bring back Firefight, you're bringing back Infection and all these classic modes that people have come to expect to come with a Halo game. But the thing is that like, it's just gonna be appeasing Halo fans. Like, yeah, it will definitely help out with the population and sentiment behind the game. But I think the larger gaming community at whole won't really pay much attention to it until say a Battle Royale mode comes in or a new mode that they can't really find anywhere else or haven't experienced before in Halo. With the improvements of AI technology within games, we see the game modes like Tarkov become super popular. Uh, I've been playing a lot of DMZ and Call of Duty. The AI puts up a good fight. They're fun to shoot against. 
against. And Halo's AI is incredibly better than anything else I've seen online. So I'm not saying go extraction shooter, but I'm saying more kind of lean into that AI that's so amazing with Halo Infinite and craft up some crazy new experience that might be at a large scale, maybe like a super small, but like really intense kind of scale game mode. I think there's something that's there that's really needed within Halo Infinite. Procrastinator Spectacular asks, Will we see a PvE mode and progression system by the end of the year? I would say yes. And let me tell you why. The head of the community team at 343, Sketch, talked about his experience with Halo Infinite Season 3 and saying he loved Extraction, which I obviously he meant to say Escalation as an Escalation Slayer. But the thing is, Extraction has been heavily leaked that we've talked about multiple times on the channel here. It's supposed to be a, a PvE kind of mode, maybe a PvE PvP kind of thing. And if this mode didn't exist or wasn't in the works, why would Sketch, the head of the community team at 343, make that flub of saying Extraction rather than Escalation? All leaks and rumors point to Extraction coming out within Season 4, but of course once we get some actual information about that mode, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Now when it comes to the progression system though, in a reply on Twitter from somebody saying like, career progression in season three question mark this was before the release of season three and again sketch kind of hit back up saying it's an active development but not expected for season three but we'll definitely share more when they're able to and the progression system has been in development for some time now i would say at the earliest i mean season four obviously because that's all we could really suspect at the moment but maybe like a season five thing but I do think it will happen this year. I think we have plenty of time to get that out. I just really hope when they do a progression system that it's something fun and engaging rather than saying like how Halo 5 so was just kind of like a number that just kind of kept going up. Hopefully there's some kind of rewards tied to gain to some certain levels like we have with Halo 5, right? Where if you got the 152, you got a cool emblem, which wasn't the coolest thing, but at least it was something. I hope to see something like that with Halo Infinite. Maybe some cool customization options tied to that progression system. Now I doubt that will happen as I feel like 343 is just trying to get the progression system out the door. Though I do feel like that would be the right way to go about it to give people incentive to grind out ranks within Halo Infinite. And I do hope like the icons that they have for ranks are much more interesting than saying like a number. I would hope to see like some kind of like icon that would be something like visually representative like you like oh I can see that what tier that person is. That's one thing I really liked about saying like Call of Duty's former prestige system where you would go for like what one through 60 or whatever and then you just reset but each new set had a new emblem to it so you had a chance to go like oh that guy's like a 10th prestige I can tell by what it looks like now it doesn't necessarily have to be an emblem could even be like a little orange number tied to like an image or something like that some kind of way to showcase of how much you've played the game beyond just the battle pass honestly I would be totally happy if they brought over the MCC progression system into Halo Infinite bman127 asks any more iterations of cross Score coming to Halo Infinite like helmets or shoulders. Well, we do know that 343 is actively working on moving away from the core system, though we recently did see this bit of a debacle happening right here where you see the Adrift Sapphire Yoroi selling for 500 credits, and then you see the Adrift Sapphire is currently locked right now for the SBI Mirage Core, which most likely will be tied to the store again, which makes you think, are they really trying to go cross core with this game? So with the winter update, we did see bots with the ability to have cross core helmets, which we see over here with the Mark 5B with a Mark 7 helmet. Same kind of thing here with the Mark 5B with the Mark 7 helmet. Same thing with the Yoroi with the Mark 7 helmet. Now this has come out as a bit of a bug rather than anything else, but this does indicate that in some capacity, it is possible to do cross core helmets, at least within Halo Infinite. Now it does need to be coded properly just because the bots can do it doesn't mean that players can do it right now. Though we did see before any form of cross core customization came in, we did see the AI bots within Halo Infinite be able to flex that customization before we could. Now I've stated this previously on the channel, but it's been a while, but I actually kind of like the core system as in a way it kind of helps organize all your customization that you have available for yourself. And I kind of like having that visual distinction of characters in the game where I can tell that's a Mark 5B, that's a Mark 7, that's a Chimera, that's a SPI, though I understand players wanting to have that creative freedom to be able to express themselves how they like to within the game, as we've never really had those type of restrictions before within a Halo game, but of course previously we just had one core, technically. And I do feel like the wanting for cross core armors is more of an issue that came with the launch of this game as there was a lot of customization but it was spread so thinly that 
it felt like you didn't really have many options, especially with the fracture cores. There really isn't a whole lot of customization for you to choose from, unless you're willing to deal out some credits. But don't get me wrong, as we stand right now, cross core would be amazing to have within Halo Infinite. But I'm curious if that's worth the time putting it into, as it could involve a lot of tedious work that really slow down the amount of content we could receive for customization. Though if 343 has the bandwidth to be able to create new content while also unchaining the players from the core system, then well, I'm all for it. Now I have a whole entire playlist of these Q&A videos. I have 51 other episodes you guys want to check them out. It's all within this playlist right here. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.